In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Sutori Timeline, another great tool for remote learning. Sutori Timeline is an interactive piece of software which enables you to add videos and quizzes directly into your timelines and stories. So when it comes to pricing, there is a free plan with limited features, but right now for education, you can get access to their pro or unlimited plan free for three months until April the 21st. And if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description box below. So to start off with, I'm going to click create new. And if you wanted to, you could pick from one of the plethora of templates available, but I'm going to go with a blank one. And Sutori is split up into three main sections. You've got your banner, your actions, and then your timeline. We're gonna start off by changing our banner. So to do this, we need to click on the banner, head on up to the three dots for more options at the top right, and click edit. And from here, you have two options. You can either upload an image directly from your device or computer, or you could use one from Unsplash, which is a copyright-free photo company. And once you're happy with the positioning, all you need to do is click save at the top. And from here, we want to head on down to our main timeline. We can start off by giving it a title. And underneath this, we can add an introduction of what we're about to say, or we can add a description. Underneath this, we can insert our heading. And if we hover over this line underneath it, as you can see, there is an add icon. If we were to click on this, it will come up with all of our different options. So you can add another heading if you wanted to, you can add some text, and then you've got all of these other options, which we're going to cover. So if we click on text, you can start typing, but you can also add images and videos to accompany this text if you wanted to. You can also have comments for feedback. And then if you go up to this white circle, you have the ability to change the box color. And you can do this for any of the options we're going to cover later. If we head on back into our options, the next one across we have link. And here you have three main options. You can add a link to any of these websites, you can add a YouTube video, and you can link something from your Google Drive. Now, as you can see, I've inserted a video. Next up are images, video, and audio, since these can be used to help students or accompany their work. For example, you could also upload a video of your screen recording, annotating work, etc., and add it to the timeline. But also, if you use something like audio, you could give audio or verbal feedback directly to the student. And since you can change the color of it, it will differentiate between the marking and the student's work. Next up, you've got file upload, which enables you to upload images, presentations, documents, and more from your device or your Google Drive. This means that students have access to the same information as you or can follow along through a presentation. Next, we've got quiz questions, and there are two main options. You've got multiple choice and matching quiz. If we went into multiple choice, we'll be able to ask our question, and then underneath this, you can start adding your answers. And to select an answer as correct, all you need to do is click on the tick icon next to it and it will highlight it in green. And to add another answer, all you need to do is just click add another answer underneath it. Now, multiple choice is practically the same, except this time you're just matching the answers with key phrases or key words. And from here, all the students need to do is match it up and the software will automatically jumble it up for you. Next up, we've got the ability to add did you know facts as well as forums, which is a great way to get students to communicate amongst one another, creating a sort of community. And you can also respond to these questions later on. Now our timeline's finished, all we need to do is scroll up to the top and head on over to our action bar. Here we've got things such as present, which we can then flick through our timeline and this can be shown directly in front of the class if we wanted to or we could pair it with something like Loom or a meeting and you can have the students answer the questions as they follow along. The next option across is share. If we clicked on this you can either invite others to your story which requires an email address or you can go under share and then you can copy this link. This means that you can post it on platforms such as Google Classroom and a great feature inside of Sutori is that you can change how people can see it. So you can have students can view, can view and comment, as well as edit and comment. And this last option makes it perfect for group projects, even virtually. 
And then finally, what we're going to cover is the three dots for more options. From here, you can view statistics, how many views your timeline has, what questions students got right and wrong, as well as being able to see all of the comments. Now, what you want to do is watch our remote learning playlist, where we cover the best tips, tricks, and tools to help create effective and creative remote learning. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.